everyone and welcome to another card video. My name is Corin Wiskman and today I'm playing with new MFT stamps. If you're interested in checking out the entire MFT release, there is a link in the description box where you can find all of the stuff and all of the inspiration over at MFT stamps. The set that I'm playing with today is super cute. It's unbelievable. I have the We Belong <laughs> stamp set, and it has these super cute bees. I also have this Hexagon Pops, which is really interesting. This particular die out of the two-piece set cuts hexagons out of your background in a row of three. Now, I don't like how it cut close to the bottom there. I know that cutting plate was just here. I just used it. Why does it have to be clear? Did I drop it on the floor? I mean, it's a cutting plate. <laughs> it was under this pile of... So, I'm going to recut that part. It looks a lot better now. See how it's real yucky and if you give it a little bit more space, it looks better. You can cut an entire background with this die, but I don't need to cut that much. The other side of my card is gonna be covered up. So I want to cut a large hexagon into my, um, my middle ground. That's probably right. And I don't have any dies big enough for what I want it to look like. So I'm just gonna make some uh, marks on my paper to try to follow the lines of this background. I don't do the maths, okay? So I just found the center of my paper and just tried to follow the lines, the geometric lines of those hexagons. And then I cut them with my paper trimmer here. It was not rocket science. It's also not perfect, which is completely okay. I'm gonna set the background aside for just a minute and go move on to the images, stamping my images. And then when we put the card together, the background will become way cooler. I promise. I'm using MFT's Extreme Black Ink to stamp my images out today, and I'm stamping on Heffy Doodles uh, alcohol marker friendly paper. I love this paper, and it's super white. It's a little thin, but it's super white, So, I, and I really don't care that it's thin. It doesn't make a difference to me. Um, I'm st I usually stamp them twice to get good stamped lines, uh, and then I'm, I'm using my alcohol markers today, and uh, I'm coloring some bees. I don't know what to say. I, this is like the same thing over and over again. I start with the darkest shade, and then I move on to the middle darkest, or the middle shade, and then I move on to the lightest shade, and that's it. Do you ever get bored watching that over and over again? I don't know. I, I don't like to watch people color so much anymore. Um, I don't think I'm the best at it, but uh, watching other people color is not how I learn. I need to do it. I'm a kinesthetic. Kinesthetic? I don't know. That's probably not how you pronounce that word, but I, I learn by doing. So I get in there and I get dirty with it and I get my hands all inky and then I, I start to learn things. I think what it is, is I've absorbed all the information and now I just have to put that information into practice and actually color things. And the more I color things, the more I practice my technique and I'm going to get better. And I think that's what y'all should do too. You know, if you're a kinesthetic, kinesthetic, I don't know, whatever that learner is. I used to think that I was a more visual learner, but I think that that's wrong. I think I actually learn by doing it, which is kind of maybe this sort of there's similarities in there. Maybe I learn both ways, but more if I'm doing it, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure out how to make it happen. And more times than not, it's by making mistakes. I make the mistakes and feel that mistake. And then I don't make that mistake any anymore. That's how I learn, <laughs> by making mistakes. I am cutting out my images today by using the coordinating die set for this stamp set. Set. We should make all of my videos into drinking games and every time I say the word adhere or set or something, you know, make maybe each video there's a different word that we could drink to. Of course, water is what I'm talking about. Not really. I'm using EK Success Powder Tool to prep my little piece of cardstock here. I don't know what color this cardstock is, so I couldn't link to it. It's like a, a mustardy color, so I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I lost the label, and so now it's gone forever. 
I am using Simon Says Stamp White Detail White Embossing Powder to emboss both Sweet Dreams and My Friend. And I did cut the stamp apart, but that's okay. You can always kind of stamp them back together as long as you don't use serrated scissors to cut your stamp apart. Ask me how I know. Totally meant Sweet Friend, not My Friend, Sweet Friend. Sweet Dreams, Sweet Friend. Looks beautiful. I love this little mini guillotine paper trimmer by Tonic. I'm just using it to trim them down to sentiment strips. I have some sponge daubers and some blender brushes. Uh, I think I used a couple of things and I'm just kind of creating a light background here. I used Versa Magic, uh, thatched straw, I think, and bundled sage to do the grass. And this is snot tape. I don't think it's available ever again, but I have like three rolls that I'm going to hoard for the rest of my life because it's perfect for this application right here. I'm also using um, some liquid adhesive to adhere down the majority of my hexagons in the background, but I'm also replacing some with a little bit of Harvest Gold Foil, also by Tonic Studios. I'm just putting a little bit of liquid adhesive and putting a patch of foil everywhere. You will also notice that I did not use gray cardstock on this card. I am in fact using a white card base and that is a speckled cardstock. It's not actually gray. It just kind of looks gray. It's a, it has a gray tone. I'm popping up all of my little images and sentiments with foam tape and adhering some of them down flat with liquid adhesive. I'm just playing around trying to get a little scene kick in here. I'm trying to make it appear as though my little bear is dreaming about bees and honey, and I think I pulled it off. I think I did a pretty good job. I like, I like how it turned out. Well, I really like how the card turned out. I love the foiled uh, hexagon pieces that kind of sparkle. It's very dreamy. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me and card making with me today. Find MFT, find me on social media. I love interacting with you in the comments. And until next time. I hear some of you guys asking for vlog footage. If that's something you wanna see, leave me a comment below letting me know that you want that to happen and I will.